It, um, it's getting kind of dark, you know, especially with the snow covering my windows. As you can see in the back. But I figured I might as well do a video since I'm just sitting here enjoying the snow, listening to music. Um, I hope everyone out there is doing okay during this quarantine. Like, hopefully you're quarantined with someone cool, like someone that you can legit just hang out with and whatnot, because holy crap. Like, the world is going crazy outside. And, I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I've gone to the store and things like that or whatever. Like, I haven't really stayed home except for today. I think today is the first full day where I did not go anywhere. Yesterday, I had to go out for power cords to put behind my things because we blew a circuit somewhere. And, like, my room power went out for, like, a night because... I don't know. We had like two ple two heaters plugged in on the same circuit. For some reason, it blew it. So, yeah. Um, so I had to go get these power cords. So like once we like fix like the breakers and everything, I had to go get power cords that like are flat plugs. So that way I can put like one behind my dresser and then one behind my bed so I can charge my phone. And then like I have like these little boxes where I have a remote to turn on my lights and stuff. It like turns them on and off. So cause I, when I'm in bed, I'm lazy. I do not want to get up to turn off the light, but I have to wait a certain amount of time to turn off the light completely. So, um, <coughs> no, I don't have the coronavirus, you guys. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I hope you guys are doing okay out there. Like, it, it's, it's been insane with the whole no TP and no, hardly any food has been at a lot of places. I know our Walmart was, like, depleted of, like, meats and pretty much all noodles. So the noodles that I want, I can't go get. Um, so super sad about that because, I, so let me tell you, this quarantine is making me want to eat all the time. Okay, I'm not used to this. Like, even after I take my diet pill, I'm just like, I mean, I feel like I'm not hungry, but boredom kicks in, and then I'm like, oh, okay, I'm gonna find my way to my cabinet where I have all kinds of goodies. And there's cookies everywhere. And not to mention, I'm like just getting off my period, so it's like, <laughs> uh, all I wanna do is just snack. That's all I wanna do. Like, Quarantine got me fucked up. Ah, uh, but at least I don't know. I mean, it's been on and off raining and sunshine, raining and sunshine. So it's not even really like I could just go outside and like take a walk or whatever. Um, so that's been kind of a bummer. But like, oh my god, I've been deep cleaning. Holy crap! I think today is like the first day that we've taken a break from like cleaning. Like I deep cleaned our laundry room, and like. I mean, I moved everything and cleaned everything, and then I did the same thing with the bathroom. I even went into the sink, and I purged, and then I purged my room, because I have a new, like, bedroom set, like, set up in my room. Like, I got new dressers and nightstands and a whole new bed frame and a whole new mattress, and I just, oh, like, you know, I have my son's, like, little play area kind of set up and stuff by his crib. So, I mean, it's super nice. It's super nice that I was able to, like, get all this done just in time for this whole quarantine. Oh, my God. And sleeping on my bed is, like, the best now. Like, I love my new bed. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, yeah, I've been quarantined. And I think I've only drank, like, three times. Which is, like, pretty good. Because I have a crap ton of beer, and you want to get you guys want to know something that I have? I have Corona. Yep. I like to drink Coronas and like snap it to people because I'm like, haha, I got the virus, and look, I got a side of Lyme disease to go with it. I know it's not necessarily funny, but I mean, in a world like that we live in, with everything being so serious, like you just kind of have to make fun of some things, like. I'm not saying that the virus isn't dangerous, because to a lot of people it is dangerous, especially, you know, if they are compromised systems or anything like that, uh, you know, and, like, my heart goes out to the families, like, that are, like, truly, truly affected by this. Yes, like, as Americans, we're all affected by it, like, no matter where you go, 
Like, I've been off work now for a week. And I'm not going to lie, I've really been enjoying the time because my son is, like, nine months old. So, like, I really, like, soak up time that I have with him while I'm off because, I mean, let's face it. Uh, sorry, my car, so I can do this. Ooh, whoa. All right. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah. Um, I mean, like, other than that, like, on another note, just, you know, I turned my car all the way off, whatever. Like, I just hope you guys are, like, being safe, washing your hands, practicing a decent amount of social distancing. Like, when you go out to stores, like, really, like, just be aware of all the germs that you could be coming in contact with. And, I mean, getting any kind of sick right now is probably one of the things that could like compromise your immune system so if you're sick stay home um you know just I, we're all supposed to be staying home you know and a lot i've seen a lot of people saying you know if you guys don't stay home this is going to take longer i really feel like even though our numbers are increasing i don't know if they're going to extend our two-week quarantine that we're all supposed to be under i understand some of you guys have curfews that sucks i feel really bad for you guys um i mean don't get me wrong like yes they are doing this for safety precautions but then there's like you know those people out there and like me being one of them like i just always think something more is going on i'm so huge into like conspiracies and things so, I mean, it's really interesting to see how everything develops, the panic that people go into. Like, I still do not get why people are hoarding toilet paper. I am sorry. I understand pandemics and all, but you think that you would be out there for food, which people have been. I mean, there's, like, a lot of food that's, like, been out of stores. It's been hard for stores to stay stocked. Um... But it's like, if we would just shop like we normally do, I think we would have been fine. I don't, you know, we wouldn't have this whole, like, huge toilet paper outage. And, I mean, man, the money that these guys are making right now is fucking bonkers, I feel like. Oh, that's bright. And it makes me look orange. Maybe we won't do that. Just go back to the dark. You can kind of see me until, you know, the sun finishes going down. I don't even know what time it is. Hell, I can barely even tell you what day it is. I only know it's Wednesday because I actually looked at my phone earlier <laughs> to see what day it was. Um, but yeah. Um, I know I keep, like, subject topping or whatever, but it's snowing and it's very distracting and calming in a weird way. Like, I don't feel like being in the snow, but just watching it snow is, like, super, super cool. And the way it, like, just floats down, like, fle feathers, feathers, <laughs> I can't even talk. Uh, it's actually pretty neat, like, to watch it. Um, I love watching the rain, too, though. Like, I have a huge thing for water, and I think maybe, I don't know, maybe that's why I like the snow, because it's a f another form of water. Anyways, um, yeah, I just wanted to, like, hop on and say that I hope you guys are all doing okay. I hope you guys are being generous and... Um, smart. Just, just be smart. Like, use your common senses. Like, you know, like, if you know that there's, like, a huge foot traffic going through a certain place, you need to, like, really kind of, like, prepare yourself for the germs that you can possibly come in contact with. Because, I mean, like, yeah, we're all worried that we're going to get it from somebody who's coughing or somebody who's, like, sickish, you know, but we got to remember that there are people out there that can become carriers and, um, I mean, that's a real thing. So, like, people can totally carry something from one person to another, um, that's highly contagious and then not be affected by it at all. Like, I could be a carrier. My son could be a carrier. Like, anyone can really be a carrier. Just, you know, it's not often you find great carriers, but they are out there. So, really just, like, you know... Stay away from strangers, especially if you don't know them. Even, like, when it comes to, like, people you know and stuff. I mean, if you guys are, like, at a grocery store 
it's probably wise to just kind of keep to yourself because people are touching everything all day long while these stores are open. I know some stores uh, have made choices to, like, close super early um, due to, like, you know, lack of employees or anything like that. So, like, you know, my heart goes out to those people, too, like, that are still working and still uh, stocking the shelves for us so that we can survive. Um, oh, that's what I was saying earlier, though. The whole TV thing, I still don't get why people are, like, hogging up the toilet paper. Um, I mean, we're pretty stocked. We generally, like, always keep a large amount of toilet paper because we just have this fear of running out in the first place. So, during this pandemic, luckily, we have not had to go out and look for toilet paper. But I just don't get it. Like, are we really worried about wiping our asses versus, like, feeding our families? <laughs> like, I get it. I get it, you guys. But if you really, really think about it, if you had no toilet paper, what are your options? Just really think about it. Let's see. There's paper towels. And if you're, like, a family that doesn't normally, like, have paper towels or anything like that, like, honestly, if it came down to it, Use a motherfucking washcloth and wash your ass. Like, you know, rinse it out after, like, you know, maybe keep, like, a little pile of them for, you know, families. I Like, just tear up a towel or something. I don't know. Just, like, come on. If it comes down to things, I mean, there was an age and a time where they didn't even have toilet paper. And, I mean, they survived as long as they survived. I, I don't know exactly how they wiped their ass or if you know they knew how like that they needed to wipe their ass whoever thought of toilet paper was a very very smart man and probably very very rich um because seriously yeah like there's other there's other ways like I mean baby diapers that you that are cloth like if we can let them shit in a cloth and we wash it what is the difference of using a damn washcloth for your ass? It's a serious question. Like, it's a real question that I have for people. Like, you know, I'd rather be stocked up on, like, at least canned foods and stuff. Like, you know, things that are going to be somewhat easy, you know, like, on harder days. And then have some foods, you know, to where you can, like, really have, like, a really good dinner, but, I mean, I know a lot of families out there are probably not even used to making dinner every night, and they're probably, like, what the fuck, <laughs> you know, like, there's families out there that, and, you know, just even individuals, just, like, you know, single people or couples, whatever, um, a lot of people, like, you know, don't always have home-cooked meals all the time. So this is probably all new to them. Like, I'd have to say with the restaurants and everyone being closed and them doing to-go orders, that probably really is the safest way to go. Um, I'm pretty sure, like, a lot of places are taking super huge precautions on not letting sick coworkers come to work, which is very smart. Um, so, I mean, yeah, like, if you can avoid this store as much as possible... And get what you need and what you need only. Don't, like, you know, you see six cans of beans. Like, I mean, go ahead and maybe grab two, but don't grab all six. I mean, there's other people out there that are looking for the same thing you're looking for. Yeah, they might not think, you know, oh, I'm only going to get two so I can, you know, let somebody else have two. I know, like, people aren't like that normally because, you know, we're humans and humans were... From the beginning of time, like, you know, our main goal is to survive. So I get where all these thoughts are coming for, but really, like, let's show some humanity and really come together on this and only take what we need. And if we have excess of something, let's, you know, pass it on to somebody who's in need of it. Let's really stand together because, you know, divided, we fall. And I feel like, you know, a lot of people are probably like, yeah, we are divided right now. Um, but we can still, in spirit and within ourselves, be a whole. I mean, we're on social media all day long, every day, almost all the time. And, you know, why not use it as a platform to create a better good versus just crap all day? 
Like, don't get me wrong, like, I've been posting memes because I've been, like, super busy cleaning, and then when I go on my phone, I'm just, like, doing the same shit I always do. No more, no less, really. Um, because I get bored of my phone. I don't always, like, look at my phone, but, I mean, the last, like, week, probably at least three days, I was probably on my phone for, like, a good amount of time. But I also have a son, so it's, like, you know, he keeps me off my phone, too. So, yeah, I'd say it's probably about the same. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm no more, no less. Maybe a little bit more, but not by much. Anyways, um, it's getting darker and darker and darker, and you guys can probably not even really see my face right now, and that's okay. Um, but I just wanted to spread some love, some cheers, some, you know, I don't know, make your, jog your mind or something. Um, but I hope everyone is honestly staying safe and, you know, staying close with your loved ones, you know, at a distance. And just really trying to wait this out. See what happens. Anyways, toodles. Peace, love, and chicken grease. You guys know I love you. Callie out.